and this video will give an example of how to find the doubling time for a exponential growth model. <clears throat> In this problem, we have a bacteria population with an initial value of 8,000, and we're told that it grows at a continuous rate of 4% hourly. And so that means that this uh, 8,000 times e to the rt formula will give us the population at any time t. And uh, here the time is, uh, the 4% the rate is hourly, and so the t here will be in hours. And there is a typo on the slide, I should say, after t hours. But the question is here, how long will it take the population to double? So doubling means that um, we're trying to figure out how long will it take for the population. The population is 8,000 e to the 0.04t uh, to double. Doubling 8,000 would be 16,000. So we simply are solving the equation uh, of setting the population value equal to double the original amount. Um, when we do this, our strategy is, remember, to isolate this. Oops. Our first step here is we want to isolate this exponential term so that it looks like a simple exponential equation. And we can do that by dividing both sides by 8,000. And when we do that, we have e to the 0.04t equals 2. Um, and so that step is sort of interesting because it points out that um, if we're trying to find the doubling time for population, um, the initial population doesn't actually matter. Uh, after the first step, we'll always have this equation, e to the point, uh, point oh four t equals 2. So regardless of what the starting population was, the time it takes to double will be the solution to this equation. Um, and so to solve this, we uh, rewrite this as a logarithmic equation. And so remember the base e logarithm is ln. And so the base e logarithm equation will be the same as the exponential equation, except with the role of the inputs and the outputs reverse. And so the, um, the equation we have now can be solved by just dividing both sides by 0.04. So I'll have natural log of t over 0 0.04 is equal to t. So this will be my exact value of the doubling time. Um, in the uh, homework problems, it'll probably ask you to uh, round that off to one or two decimal places. And let me do that on my calculator real quick. And when I do that, I get that t is approximately 17.33. Uh, three. That would be two decimal places, hours. So we have the exact answer, and we have the answer uh, rounded off to a couple decimal places.